So, here we are today, Black Wolf fans, and we're stopping at the Grand Hotel, formerly the Hilton Hotel, and it's ranked as one of the worst hotels in England. Checking those out again, see how we get on. This is the room. Strange woman inside it. Got a big bed, and that's bigger than a, a normal bed, isn't it? Telephone, and we've got a nice sea view as well. Yeah, it's nice, big telly. Tea and coffee facilities. Wardrobe. I think these used to have doors on them. And the other reviews I've seen. And we got bathroom, and in the bathroom we get nice little tissues, toiletries, that's quite nice. Shower cap, the bath, bath mat, everything. So well, I've looked around the rest of the hotel as well, but so far, so good. Nice day in Blackpool. So just before we go look around the rest hotel, you do get a hairdryer, which is extra handy for me, an ironing board, and you get a safe. And what's cool about the safe is, it's big enough to put in a, a laptop, where sometimes they're not big enough. And it's free to use as well, so wonderful. So we've left our room now, and we're walking down the corridor to the lifts. We're on the second floor. But yeah, overall, so far, it's really nice. Lifts look good. Everything seems clean and tidy. Beautiful picture here as well, look at that. Gorgeous picture. So we'll have a quick walk around the hotel and show you bits and bobs about what you can do here. So this is the reception area. There's lots of seating. And if you leave the reception, not sure what we're showing you, but we're showing you stuff. So it was formerly a Hilton. The Balmoral room and Buckingham room. So I'm guessing therefore, if you're having a party, downstairs is the leisure, leisure club and the swimming pool. There is an additional charge for that. But if you're interested in that. So upstairs is the promenade restaurant, main lounge and Chester room. Shall have a look upstairs? Right. Considering people say it's the worst hotel in the world, it's supposed to be the best smelling hotel in the world. Suppose that smell. Sm it. Smell it. I don't know what it is. It smells really nice. So up here we've got a bar and a big TV. That's oh, massive. Another bar. Here, I mate. It's Cheers. Thank you. So the guy was saying, if you want a drink, so there's not many. This is cool. Not many people in the hotel. They're just using that little bar. But this is a stage. I don't know if they have entertainment at the weekends. I presume they do, because it's a Britannia hotel. And in general, Britannia hotels do have entertainment weekends. But yeah. Plenty big enough. Let's have a look down the opposite way. So, you can get... Light bites from here. Soup of the day, four ninety five. Garlic bread, five pounds. Cheesy garlic bread. Curry, ten quid. Selection of pizzas, tenner. That's not so bad if the pizzas are right. Ten pound for pizzas, not bad, is it really? And uh, so you can have a light bite here and a drink at the bar. And if you want some proper food, you go down there. So let's continue our tour, mini tour, should we say? I was just seeing how far the leisure, leisure club is. Looks a bit too far for me. Springs. I think that's a nightclub. Oh, everything's clean and tidy. Smells nice. Oh, there's loads down here. Loads. Loads and loads. Loads and loads of doors, what I meant to say. Oh, this is fancy. These are magic doors that open by themselves. Maria's eating something. What are you eating, Maria? We're off out for dinner and she's scoffing. 
So there's a n nice picture there. Uh, I think the leisure clubs must be down here. You can come independently, you see. I think it's... I uh, will we'll try and find out. I was uh, notice board here, hang on. That's just a notice about the leisure club. Can't see much to show you there, but back to some lifts. And there's a full list of the things. So, so far it's nice, isn't it? I like the size of the space, and if you're looking at coming to like Blackpool, for the price you can pay if you get the right price, I'd rather stop here than a select number of B and B, should we say? But yeah, let's have a look upstairs. Then we'll conclude our tour. Probably I know it's, there's a there's a plug here. There seems to be a number of plugs around the building. Right. So let's have a look upstairs. So, upstairs again, little meeting room. I don't think a lot of this gets really used to its full potential. When it was a Hilton, obviously, there's a green room. It's locked. So, yeah, a lot of it, I don't know if it gets used to its full potential. So in the old days, it was like a Hilton, and all these massive rooms would get used for holding conferences and stuff. But now it's just like a Britannia and we have new conferences. I'm really heavy reading by the way, sorry about that. Uh, we have new conference areas in Blackpool. You don't seem to see as many. But yeah, you can you can get an idea of the scale of the, the hotel, can't you? So let's walk out to the front. I was just saying, I don't think it gets used how it used to get used. So one of the advantages of the cruise ship reviews I do is you can't lock a door on a cruise ship bar obviously cabins or well, most doors are kept open for the obvious if you start to sink you can get out whereas hotels it's slightly different and you can't be a nosy posy like i am these look like they're turning into beds don't they so it's quite a good hotel if you have a fallout with your, with your missus plenty of providing there's not like 20 guys in trouble you can all keep, keep yourself down for the night anyway that's one of the perks. And that's upstairs in the restaurant. That's the centre part. We didn't go into the restaurant because we're not to dine in here this evening. Trafalgar Suite in Nelson's room. Once again, I'm guessing, just a nice big room for parties and conferences, as you can tell. And a board full of information. Wonderful things to do whilst you're here in Blackpool. So, this is it, the Grand Blackpool. What's your views? Have you stopped here before? Are you planning on stopping here? Let's have a look outside. And here we are. Beautiful Blackpool sunset. I'm gonna hear a bit of wind now, unfortunately, as associated with Blackpool. But yeah, so that's the Grand Blackpool. Conference and spa. Would I recommend stopping? If you get the right price, definitely. 100%. Really pleased. Right, so from me and Maria, I wish you a goodbye. We're going to get some food. So don't forget, if you've enjoyed yourself, click like and subscribe. If you haven't, click like and subscribe. Stop being miserable. Let's cross to the prom. And I'll give you one last shot of the hotel. And we'll bid you a good night. There we go viewers, take care.